Hi, I'm Sean Tucker and this is 829-831 Manawaganish Road. We're here on a beautiful stretch of Manawaganish where the, the big trees overhang the street. This one has two addresses, two lots, and two units. It's nice to have the true two-family with the two separate meters and two separate furnaces. This one, as you can tell, has really nice character on the outside. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous place. And it's got some character inside too. Let's take a look. All right, so we step in the front door and there's two doors. One goes upstairs, one goes to the main level here. So I'll show you the main level first. Lots of hardwood floors, as you can tell. And we step through the, the French doors into this nice big living room with the nine foot ceilings. Gorgeous, gorgeous moldings here. Really nice character in this place, especially this main level. And nice little front entryway here too. Getting a look at the moldings, Boston headers, original Boston headers, nice pine moldings. And into the nice big dining room. Can you picture a big dining set here? I can picture a big dining set and it, it's still, there's, there's tons of room for a nice big table set, which I think would fit the style of house. And then there's two bedrooms. Both bedrooms in this, uh, on this main level are pretty good sizes, and they both got pretty good sized closets too. And the bigger of the two bedrooms is over here. Really, really good sized bedroom. A lot of the windows have been replaced as well, uh, which you'll probably notice throughout the tour. Not all of them, but a, a large percent have been, and there's new vinyls, so it's good for uh, really low maintenance on those. And there's a walk-in closet in this bedroom. So take you through, I'll show you the kitchen now. The kitchen was updated, I think it was around 10 years ago, they said, maybe not quite. Oak cabinets, really solid, solid oak cabinets. Really nice pantry there too. There's a basement door right there, leads to the basement. There's a laundry closet there. Each unit has its own laundry, that's always nice too. And the bathroom's over here. The bathroom's got the older tile, they've painted part of it. You can paint this tile. Yeah, pretty much your standard bathroom. Nice big vanity here behind the door. I'll take you, I'll just show you this real quick. I think this is a great little bonus space. Could be good for storage. You can have a couple of chairs here too. Sit and relax, read a book. Yeah, nice little entry here too, and it takes you out the walkway here to the, to the driveway. Now upstairs. There's three bedrooms upstairs here. And again, lots of hardwood. I'm gonna show you the living room here first. Nice big living room. Um, just like downstairs, we have the nice bump out here. Nice to have that, add some character to the home. There is a mantle here. I don't know if it was ever a working fireplace. Of course, it's not now. Great spot though, if you want to put a TV or even an electric fireplace, would uh, that'd be a good spot for that. I'll show you one of the, so there's, there's one big bedroom and then two smaller ones. This is one of the smaller ones. No closets in the second and third, but I mean, that's what armoires are for, right? Just get an armoire and put in each one. If you have kids or something, you need a closet. Another bedroom here. So on the back, you get a really nice view from here and the master bedroom. And you're looking right out at the ocean in two different places. It's quite a, quite a view. Nice view. Now the master. Nice moldings in here too. They're painted white. They're nice high moldings original to the home and nice solid wood doors. As you can tell, really good size master bedroom here. Closets over here and then of course the window where you take in the view again. Take you through here, show you the kitchen. Lots of floor space in the kitchen here. You could uh, easily fit an island here if you want to put an island in. Main part of the kitchen's here, nice high cabinets. There's lots of storage space because they've, they've added this area too. Some open cabinetry and more countertop. Nice to have that as a little bonus. And then the bathroom. Again, pretty good sized room. Bathroom. The tub's over here. It's kind of a different layout, but it works. Toilet's over there in the corner, vanity here. 
and then the laundry closet is there. Oh, I just wanted to show you the basement real quick. We're in the main part of it here. It's, in my opinion, it's a nicer basement than what you'd expect from an older home. It's got uh, lots of headroom here, which you don't always see. It's got a nice concrete, poured concrete floor here. And what I really like about it too is each unit is on its own electric furnace and on its own electric meter, so that's always good. The main part is here, but out back there's some pretty good storage. There's like rock ledge and stone, but it's, it's great for storage. And over here, there's a walkout to the backyard. So here we are in the backyard. Get you a pretty good look here at the backyard. It fronts on Lloyd Street, like I mentioned. It's got some nice mature trees here, and there's barely a weed in this back lawn. So it's a pretty nice backyard. That pretty much includes a tour of 829, 831, Mayan Road. Two great addresses for one great price. As usual, if you'd like any more information on this property uh, or would like your own personal tour, please feel free to contact me on my website at seantucker.ca. I think you'll agree that for all the great features that are offered here and the great price it's offered at, buying this one would be like a home run.